Okay, here's problem number 37 uh, from section uh, uh, 10.2. Uh, we're going to start by uh, finding out where is this um, particle at uh, time equal 3. And we're going to do that by saying, noting that the position at time equal 3 is the vector. And we're saying that we know that where it is at time equal 0. So it's going to be the x position is going to start at 2 and it's going to get bigger by the the amount the velocity changes from 0 to 3 dt and then the position the y position is going to be its starting y position plus the amount it changes from 0 to 3 of 1 cosine pi t dt and now what's left is uh, evaluating these integral expressions. So this is going to be 2 plus, and the antiderivative of 3t squared is t cubed, minus the antiderivative of 2t is t squared, is evaluated from 0 to 3, comma 6, and then we're going to do the same thing here, uh, plus uh, the antiderivative of 1 is t, the antiderivative of cosine pi t is um, 1 over pi sine of pi t and we're going to evaluate this from 0 to 3. Uh, continuing on uh, 0 or 2 plus and evaluating this at the high end we're going to get uh, 3 cubed which is 27 minus t squared which is 9 minus uh, 0 minus 0 uh, at the low end and then down over here we're going to say it's 6 plus and at the high end we're going to get 3 plus uh, 1 over pi times sine of 3 pi minus and then well this is going to be 0 and then sine of 0 is 0 so um, now let's go ahead and clean this up. It looks like uh, this is going to be 2 uh, plus 18, which I think is 20. And then over here, we're going to get 6 plus 3, which is 9. And then at, at uh, pi over 3, let's just do a quick sketch over here, uh, 0 pi over 2 pi, 3 pi over 2, 2 pi, uh, at pi over 3 uh, we're going to be back here at 0 so this is just going to be uh, 6 plus 3 which is going to be 9 so at position at time 3 we're at uh, position uh, 20 uh, comma 9 um, now how far does it travel well the total the total distance traveled is going to be using the uh, uh, the arc length formula from 0 to 3 of the square root of the square of the speeds, a square of the of the components of the velocity, I should say, which gives us speed, uh, 3t squared minus 2t quantity squared plus um, uh, 1 plus cosine uh, pi t squared, and then all of that is uh, dt. Um, this integral is not uh, doable I believe uh, using analytic methods uh, so we're gonna plop this over into the uh, into our um, uh, calculator so we're gonna want menu calculus uh, we want an integral uh, that integral is gonna go from 0 to 3 of the square root of and of course the again the x component is 3t squared minus 2t and all of this of course is uh, squared and then add on to that uh, the 1 plus cosine of pi t close that parenthesis for the cosine, close the parenthesis for the y component, and that squared, and then all of this to the t. 
and we get the total distance traveled as 19.343.